Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with Lenovo's 9th Gen ThinkPad X1 Carbon. It's actually a series of laptops that I've used as a daily driver myself. However, Lenovo has refreshed the machine now with Intel's 11th Gen Core Series processor technology, otherwise known as Tiger Lake, and a few other refinements on board as well. What do you say we take a tour and show you what it's made of next? The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9 is a 14-inch ultralight laptop weighing in at just 2.49 pounds. And at just 14.9 millimeters thick, it sports a similar, unmistakably understated ThinkPad design like the previous generation, X1 Carbon, with a matte black soft touch finish and hybrid carbon fiber weave pattern top with magnesium alloy bottom that feels super premium and solid in the hand while remaining feather light for maximum portability. However, looks can be deceiving because there are a number of updates built into the X1 Carbon Gen 9, including Intel's 11th Gen Tiger Lake platform. Our machine came configured with a Core i7-1165G7 quad-core CPU that boosts to 4.7 GHz, along with integrated Iris Xe graphics. And there is also 16 GB of soldered DDR4X4266 memory on board, and a 512GB PCI Express NVMe solid state drive all backed up by a 57 watt hour battery and Lenovo's 65 watt rapid charger that is reported to top off the machine to 80% in roughly an hour and another perhaps more significant update are the new ThinkPad X1 Carbon's taller 16 by 10 format display options. You are looking at the UHD plus 4k IPS display option here with a native resolution of a crispy 3840 by 2400, 500 nits of brightness and full Dolby Vision and HDR 400 color reproduction. It's a glossy panel, so you do get a bit of glare at certain angles depending on lighting, but its output is punchy and vibrant with a 1500 to 1 contrast ratio and support for 100% of the DCI P3 color gamut. It's also a low blue light panel that's TUV Rhineland certified. And that display also sports a 720p webcam with optional infrared human presence detection that is freakishly good at shutting down and locking while you're not nearby, and then springing back to life when you approach the machine. It's probably one of the best implementations of human presence detect we've seen thus far and will undoubtedly help battery life as the machine drops to standby mode pretty quickly and automatically if you're not paying attention to it. Finally, like previous ThinkPads, Lenovo's thoughtful Think Shutter privacy switch is here to mechanically close down the camera anytime you wish, though the IR camera remains active with presence detection enabled unless you disable it manually in Lenovo's handy ThinkVantage software utility. The keyboard here is Lenovo's usual excellent six-row spill-resistant LED backlit setup with multimedia function keys and delightfully shaped keycaps. None of that chiclet garbage here. With generous key travel, a spacious layout, little to no flex or give, along with its typically smooth as silk glass touchpad, three-button control, and iconic red trackpoint nub front and center. As usual, ThinkPad keyboards are the best in the business for thin and light laptops and this machine is a real pleasure to work with. Ports and connectivity wise we have a healthy assortment here with a pair of Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, a full-size HDMI 2.0 port, a three and a half millimeter combo audio jack, and a nano SIM card slot for optional LTE connectivity. Also on board is Intel's AX201 Wi-Fi 6 NIC, Bluetooth 5.2 connectivity, and a four-driver Dolby Atmos sound system with two upward-firing mid-range tweeters and two downward-firing woofers. The system has surprisingly good spatialization, high-end, and mid-range response, but lacks base response that you might find in competitive machines like Dell's XPS 13 series, for example. Still, with reasonably good volume output, it gets the job done as far as ultralight laptop audio goes, but otherwise connect a set of buds or cans for optimal acoustics. The new ThinkPad X1 Carbon has five standard Phillips head screws on its bottom panel that, once backed out, allow easy access to the machine's internals. Here you can see the bottom firing woofers we alluded to earlier, along with a large area for a very thin but 
generally capacious 57 watt hour battery. You can also see a copper heat spreader for the machine's primary M2 SSD in its socket, though there's a spare M2 socket for a shorter M2 2242 style SSD that's available in the top left corner. Though this does give users the option of dropping in another SSD for additional storage, which is a nice touch, our hunch is that Lenovo designed the machine this way to make storage configurations as flexible as possible in their production flow, but it also serves the consumer nicely as well. Unfortunately, as is very common these days, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9's DDR4 RAM is soldered to the motherboard and not visible here, nor are there any sodium sockets available. So choose that memory configuration wisely, boys and girls. The other notable observation here is the X1 Carbon's single heat pipe and fan sink design that is strapped with a pair of blowers that pull cool air in through the bottom of the machine and exhaust it immediately through the back edge of the keyboard just under the display. It does a really nice job of managing the thermal load on this laptop. But how does this machine hold up in our benchmark gauntlet, you might ask? Well, frankly, it's one of the fastest three pound and under weight class machines we've tested to date, scoring consistently in the very top bracket of ultralight non-gaming laptops in our database for productivity and content creation tasks. Asks. And it ranks just as high for some light duty gaming like in Gears Tactics, where playable frame rates were had at 1080p even on high settings for this turn based strategy game. The nice thing is, even under the heaviest of workloads, we saw relatively little performance bleed when the cooling solution was thermally saturated and completely tame acoustics, topping out at only about 44 dB a few inches away from the system. If there's a chink in the armor of this particular ThinkPad X1 carbon build, it's the Gen 9's 4K UHD Plus display option that does tap on battery life a bit, lighting up all those pixels. And in our HD video loop rundown, this particular config, 4K display, the X1 Carbon only managed a little over five and a half hours of uptime, though Lenovo claims nine hours or more with its FHD Plus 1920 by 1200 resolution display configuration. And so even with this middling battery life performance of the 4K display option of the X1 Carbon Gen 9, and frankly, the lack of micro SD card slot, come on Lenovo, one of these days you have to bring that slot back. Regardless, we're still thoroughly impressed with Lenovo's venerable flagship ThinkPad, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9. Starting at about $1,400 or $1,900 as tested here, it's pricey, but it is a clear hot hardware editor's choice. But make sure you swing by hothardware.com for our full deep dive review with all of our analysis. And hit thumbs up and subscribe if you'd be so kind, so we'll be sure to see you on the next one. Until then, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 9. Thanks for stopping by.